So I thought we'd talk a little bit about recording turntables for your models. So here I have a model that I'm working on and I'd like to record a turntable for. So you can see if I don't do anything and I just go up to the movie menu and I just hit turntable, it will automatically do a rotation on the Y axis of this character, basically the center of your model. You can interrupt this at any stage by pressing escape and it will kind of stop that turntable exactly where it is and then you can go back to movie turntable and it will repeat and pick up from where it left off. So it stores that in memory if you do stop it. If we go back to the menu now that this is done, you can see that there's a delete button. That's because this movie is now still stored in, in memory. But you can see if I hit play to, to play that movie, it's going to fade in a logo and then fade out the whole thing and that's not what we're looking for. We've already recorded this movie, but it's not too late to turn that off. So you'll see in the overlay image here, this is the logo and you can replace this with your own image by clicking on it and choosing one. But if you don't want a logo, you can just turn the opacity down to zero and then that will disappear. And we'll also take out this two second fade in and the two second fade out. So by dialing them down to zero, that will disappear and we can just hit play movie again without having to re-record the movie. But you'll notice if I hit play again, that we've actually captured the interface and that's not necessarily what we want to do. So this movie is stored in memory, so it's not going to allow us to, to do anything with this. We have to delete this movie before we want to recapture it. So I'm going to hit delete on this. I'm not, I don't want to save that movie. I'll go back here and you can see that this has now opened up this option here. So instead of the window, which is going to capture absolutely everything, the interface, I just want to capture the document, which is this area here. So if I turn this on, I'd like a large render of this, as large as I can possibly get. And now we can hit turntable again. So as you can see, it's rendering a little bit slower because we're doing a full or a large render rather than a medium. So once that's done, we can go back to our movie and we can hit play. And we can see what that looks like. So this looks okay, but it's not great. It could look an awful lot better. I'm gonna delete this movie turn it off and this time I'm actually just going to do a BPO render so if I just hit the render button here this is going to render this single frame once we rendered that single frame if we now go back to movie and, we, and the next button that we click is turntable it knows that you want to render all of the frames of the turntable because that's what you've done with that so I'm just going to hit turntable again So that render is finished and that actually took 15 minutes. So that's significantly longer because it's rendering every frame. The previous one was almost real time as you saw and this one um, I had to actually pause the video to get to the final frame because it was painful to watch. So if we wanted to have a look at that render, we can go up to movie and just hit play movie and see the results of that. And that's it as, we, as it was rendered. However, this isn't the end of it. This is now stored in memory here, but we could for example, in our render preferences, we could go into BPO filters, for example, and we can load one from the light box. So these are post effects. So I can take, for example, this one by just double clicking on this. That's now loaded that filter. And if I turn on the floor here by pressing this and I hit render again, you'll see that we now have that render effect actually applied to this. So we could have chosen any filter here, depending on what look you're going for something like this, whatever it might be, and we can re-render it again with that filter and it will actually store that information. So with that filter on and the fact that I've hit render here and have that result here means I can now go back to movie. And if I wanted to stitch several videos together, I could keep the one that we already have. I'm not gonna hit delete this time because I've already stored that I want the document and the information. And this time I'm just gonna hit turntable again. So that's finished now and you can see um, that actually took just slightly longer than the rendered without the filters. Uh, so we can go to movie now and we can hit play, hit play movie. You can see it still stored the original turnaround and then it went into our render turnaround. So we, we kind of stitched those two movies together. If I play one more time, that was the original render which took 15 minutes and then this one took 15 and a half minutes effectively. So if we want to output this movie now, we can go to movie we turn on H for high quality and then we'll hit export. It'll play through the movie as it actually exports it. So I'm going to open that MPEG 
in a video player. In this case, it's the Ace player. And you can see it plays that movie back. So the thing about this format is it often doesn't work on other machines. While it is an MPEG and it will play in most media players, in, in Windows, for example, uh, in other apps, it often won't work. So if you try and put it into Discord or you try and uh, put it onto your phone or through WhatsApp or any other application, it may not necessarily work. So in that case, I recommend using something like the Ace Media Player, VLC Media Player rather, to convert it. So this is the VLC Media Player here. So you can just go to Media, Convert, Save, drag your MPEG in here, hit Convert, Save, choose a place to output the final thing and choose your own quality here. So for example, video for MPEG here will give you a decent result. Uh, just browse to where you want to put it and export that. And that will give you a slightly more compatible format that you can share with other people. So as usual, hope this tip helps. And if you have any questions or comments, please do put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, cheers, bye.